right now in Castle Rock, it's 50. Now a cloud in the sky as we look south along Interstate 25 toward Monument Hill, and you can see Pikes Peak there in the distance. Just a beautiful February afternoon, and frankly, I think we deserve this a little bit after the last week or so. Uh, I can't believe we're into the final few days of the month. First part of February, we had several above normal days. All the blue days indicate below normal temperatures, and that trend started last Monday. It was on the 19th, and we've been below normal every day since then. Today, we'll be back up near normal. Average temperature, by the way, for this February, just above 29 degrees. That's when you look at all the daytime highs and the overnight lows together. That is three degrees below normal which is really significant from a climate standpoint. It really has been a colder than normal February. I'm sure you've noticed right now. It's 40 degrees up in Fort Collins, 49 in Greeley. We have the same currently at DIA. Most of us will climb at least a couple more degrees. For example, Fort Collins, you should get up into the mid 40s. Quite a difference in the mountains today compared to the weekend as well. It was cold in the high country over the weekend. If you were skiing or riding, you know what I'm talking about. Today, temps in the mid to upper 30s for most mountain valleys. Also some wind, especially in southern Colorado. Levita Pass, 40 mile per hour winds. Trinidad, 39 mile per hour winds. And that wind is going to continue to spread through the southeast portion of the state through the rest of the day. Red flag warning for southeast Colorado through 6 p.m. That does include our friends in Lamar and Prowers County. The gusty wind, the dry soil, the Low relative humidity all means the fire danger is high in that part of the state. As we zoom out, the active weather is to the northwest of us. You can see some snow moving out of southern Idaho into northern Utah. It's going to snow here this afternoon in Salt Lake City. Cold front behind all that snow is what's pushing it uh, down that way. There's also a big upper level low that's in northern California. This is bringing places like Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area. Quite a bit of rain here this midday. That low is going to go south toward LA and then it's going to take a sharp turn to the east and track across Arizona and New Mexico, bringing moisture to cities like Phoenix and Albuquerque. This is where it's going to be Wednesday at noon. That's pretty much as close as it's going to get to Colorado. It's going to send a little bit of moisture up our way, but not much. I think we will see some snow in the mountains on Wednesday. Right now it looks like no more than two to four inches for the mountains along the I-70 corridor. Probably Perhaps a little bit more than that for the southern mountains where it's always appreciated, especially this year where it's been so dry down south. For Denver in the front range, maybe a flurry or two on Wednesday. Frankly, I'd be surprised if we see a single flurry at this point, but there is that chance and it will be cooler. We'll see some clouds around here on Wednesday as well. It will certainly be the coolest day of the week. We dropped to 44 after a lower to mid 50s today and tomorrow. And then after that storm passes, Alan, it's going to get out of here as quickly as it arrives, and so we'll warm back up pretty quickly. Uh, Thursday, 55, Friday, 62, and then for the weekend, 52 for girls in science on Saturday with sunny skies, and then cooler again on Sunday, 47. But this upcoming weekend certainly doesn't look anywhere near as cool as this past weekend was. It was nice to have the sun, but gosh, it was chilly. Yeah, it really felt like winter out there. It sure though. did. Yeah. You know, it really did. <laughs> I know, it felt like this in February. I hear you. Thanks, Ashton. Uh,